In this video, uh, we're going to be drawing the lips using hatching. And hatching is a great way to draw lips, even on a final project or a final portrait where everything else is blended. Uh, lips naturally have more texture to them versus the skin. Uh, so using hatching is gonna really help to emphasize that texture along with the form of the lips. So I'm gonna play this uh, time-lapse video so it is sped up. Um, but first of all, I'm lining up my reference picture. It's very important to make sure that you have a great reference picture to work with. And here's what I'm using off to the side so you can see it as I'm drawing. Um, but without a good reference picture, it's going to make it difficult to really capture that detail. So try your best to not guess at what's there, but really look at the detail, look at the shape and the form of everything. And that's gonna really make your final drawings more realistic. So even if you think you know, exactly how to draw a lip and exactly what it looks like. I still want you to really focus on looking at just that reference picture and trying to add more detail. Uh, but I'm gonna pause this for a second so you can see how I have it lined up. But I started with just a large uh, oval to represent where I'm going to put the lips. And then I divided it in half. And when you divide it in half, I would look at the size relationship between the top and bottom lip. Everyone's is going to be slightly different. Um, on my lips here, the bottom half is a little bit bigger and the top half is smaller. So I'm dividing that in half, leaving more space on the bottom half of the lips. And then I'm going in with three circles on the top. Um, and this is just to help simplify the form, but really emphasize and get that shape and proportion correct before adding detail. So really important to get all proportions accurate before you add detail. Um, I'm starting with, again, a small circle in the middle of the top lip here and then two larger circles on the outside. And that's going to help to uh, create accurate form of the top lip. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the video here. Um, and then I'm sketching small ovals that are slanted on the sides. Look at the angle of the top lip as you're working. Um, bottom lip, I'm dividing into two larger circles to represent both halves of the lip there. Uh, most are going to kind of come down a little bit and have more of a shadow in the middle of the bottom lip. So I think two circles in the middle there is perfect to help show that movement because you can look when I have the drawing of the two circles, it dips down as well um, in the drawing. So it just mimics the uh, form of the lips really well. And then I'm really connecting the dots once I have these circles outlined. So I'm really looking at the shape of the line that separates the top and bottom lip. It's not going to be just a straight line across, so really look at the detail of it. Um, where does it move up? Where does it move down? Where are there little ridges? And then I'm going through and just outlining highlights and shadows. So I'm taking my time there looking at uh, which part is going to be closest to the viewer, which is the middle of uh, that bottom lip. It's most likely going to be the lightest. And it's not just straight across, but it dips down and then comes back up. So really look at the form as you're outlining. But I'm starting to go in with the uh, hatching, so the lines to shade it. And instead of doing just straight vertical lines, I'm following the form of the lips. So think about the part of the lips that is going to be closest to the viewer. And that's where you want the middle of the circle or the middle of your line to be. So on the top lip here, it's curving out and then up, bottom lip curving out and down as well. So try to really follow the form of the lips the best you can. And this will really help to emphasize that dimension. Um, I'm leaving that middle highlight white for the most part. Some of my lines are gonna connect all the way from the top to bottom, but I'm pretty much randomizing it, looking at the picture as well to figure out where those highlights and shadows will fall as I'm starting to layer the value change. So I'm going back in um, underneath the lip as well. If you're only adding detail on the lip and you're leaving the shadows around the face white, you're going to lose a lot of realistic detail. So really look at the shadows around the lips and that's going to set them into the face um, as, as well as you can there. Uh, but with the shadows around the face, or around the lips, you can see that darker shadow underneath here that kind of comes around. Uh, so as I'm shading, I'm still doing hatching, uh, but just trying to bring that shadow down and start to fade it um, 
I'm also going back with that kneadable eraser, making those highlights a little bit lighter on the bottom lip there. And again, you're not smudging with the eraser, you're just tapping and that's going to bring up the, uh, the charcoal. So there is uh, the finished product there for the lips. Again, start as simple as possible and then build those layers of value uh, so you can slowly darken the shadows.